Yeah, what's good, YouTube? Hey, how you doing today? This your one and only turn loose, Bruce from the Bronx. I know I haven't recorded for a lot because my mother was sick and trying to help her back to health and stuff. Um, I'm going to come with a new topic today. We're going to talk about false accusations. False accusations is a claim or allegations or wrongdoing that is untrue and or otherwise unsupported by facts. False Accusations are also known as groundless accusations or unfounded accusations or false allegations or false claims. When one person makes false accusations against or statements about other, another and publishes those statements by transmitting them to a third party by a written word or word or mouth, and those statements damage the reputation, character, or integrity of that person. The target of the statements will recover damages from the person who uttered those false statements. Such statements are called defamation of character. There are two types of defamation of character. Li libel. Defamation that is written such as newspapers, magazines, or the internet. Slander. That's number two. Defamation that is orally published such as in a speech over... The airwaves are a casual conversation. Um, definition of character could be mistaken by mistaken identity, misrecollection, malice, false accusations, official misconduct, misleading, forensic evidence. You know, this thing's been going on since the OJ trial, the Crosby, even though OJ didn't do it. Because I don't think he would kill them two women. Like that, you know, them people make them false accusations that he did, but, he, you know... He had bad knees and stuff, so he couldn't run as fast. I don't think he would do, you know, he too stupid to plan something like that. Not me, not to insult the man's intelligence, but I don't think he, you know, he won't go down like that. That's not in his character. Same thing with Car Bill Cosby with them Caucasian women and stuff. I don't think he did it either. Even though there's a bunch of hearsay, there was no proof. Those are things 30, 40, to 50 years ago, and he was being um, surveillance. So I don't think that man would do it like that because he was faithful to his wife. Now y'all wait till the man gets in bad health, his health is deteriorating and everything else, and then y'all want to make these slander accusations against him. You know, and it's sad though, you know, that man put a lot of kids in college and helped kids, you know, African American kids in this world to make them have a better life and have a better way of life and stuff, you know. And I hate to see he go out like that, you know. Come on now. And it's fucked up, and I, you know, I won't like nobody go like that. That could be somebody's father. That could have been my father or somebody else, you know, with that mugshot. I wouldn't even publicize that, you know. It just like the like the Nate Parker accusation. They trying to say he raped them, what the Caucasian one, but he didn't do it. So you know, and then you got your own people out here slandering him and throwing him under the bus on the mixed company, messing that man's reputation up. That man never. Never be the same again. And then you got people still trying to bring up that Kobe Bryant rape thing that happened in 2003. Even though the woman, even though he didn't do it, but the woman had come, things had a bad reputation. Come on now, she was messing with everybody else. How you had different type of semen stains on your panties and stuff? Where's your self-respect at? Where's the morals at? You know, it's just a lot of things, you know, those are accusations. You just damaged that man's reputation. That man's life is from just the same thing with the Nelly situation. You know, I don't think he raped that girl, though, but, you know, he didn't do it. You know, come on now. Because I think it was the money. I think the woman got mad because the money ran out. He was helping her, helping her, paying her way to go to school, helping her better her life. She got mad. The money got ran out, and then she wanted to say he raped her. Come on now. There's enough is enough. You know, you got in, you put a lot of innocent black men by a bunch of hearsay and never gathered the facts and never did your uh, due diligence, you know, to find out, you know, if he did it or not. You know, never, no DNA was proven, no DNA test, no none of that stuff, you know. Y'all going by a bunch of hearsay and then people just want to jump on and just kick a dead horse when he's down, which is fucked up, you know. People never take the time out and just sit back and look at the, you know, go over the things and stuff before y'all make judgment. You know, those of you that slander that man, slander those people and, you know, make them people look bad. You know, karma gonna come back and hunt you. Just pray to God you don't end up in them situations and somebody say you did something, accuse you, falsely accuse you of something that wrong, you didn't do anything wrong. You know? But hey, it's the time that we're living and we got social media and everything else now. So everybody's guilty by public opinion. 
without no proof, no evidence, no none of that stuff. I thought it was a trial due process, you know. So, yeah, here's my take on it. You know, these men, uh, even though back then, you know, you didn't, why you didn't attack them years ago? Why you wait till they get old, their money ran out, you know, they got bad health and declining health and stuff and trying to sabotage their career, you know. That's fucked up. If you really want to take them down then, you should have been took them down a long time ago. Why wait years later? Come on now. Ain't the statue of limitations ran out already? <laughs> you know? I understand, you know, but... That, yeah, before you slander somebody, do do your research first before you go uh, make these false accusations towards them. Hit this topic, like the button, subscribe to the page, you know. It don't cost a damn thing, you know. And also, you know... You know... Donate, you know, the, the nothing wrong got cash out, you know, is in our in the C section, so you could do that as well. Enjoy your night, folks.